Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on models of health, focusing on the biomedical model of health. When looking at models of health, the most dominant model of health used in society today is the biomedical model. But what is the biomedical model? The biomedical model focuses on the development of practices and treatments and prevention of illness through the analysis of the physical body. That is, it focuses on our biology, which may be obvious. When we're ill, we feel physical symptoms of our illness, and understanding what is happening in our bodies is a way to be able to treat illness and prevent further illnesses. There is a biological basis for most illnesses, and the treatment of these illnesses and injuries relies upon scientific knowledge. But not all sociologists accept this model so readily. Foucault used the term the medical gaze to explain how doctors and other medical professionals analyse the human body in order to determine a diagnosis. They also use scientific testing methods to see what is wrong with us and why physical symptoms are present. This has been the dominant way of viewing health for some time, particularly as medical technology has become more advanced. When using the biomedical model, it's important to define what we mean by health. According to the biomedical model, health is merely the absence of illness or disease, and this is in stark contrast to some of the other, more holistic definitions of health. Whilst the body can be studied scientifically and illness, disease or injuries treated through the application of scientific knowledge, this does not necessarily make an individual healthy, and this is a limitation of this model. It perceives disease as a failing of the body, and those who subscribe to the biomedical model often attribute this to the personal choices and lifestyles of individuals. Poor diets, consumption of alcohol and cigarettes, drug use and limited exercise are often blamed for disease when using biomedical models of health. One impact of the use of the biomedical model is the medicalization of healthcare. This criticism suggests that the biomedical model reduces all illnesses and disease down to biological issues, whereas other models, such as the social model of health, see illness as being a result of social factors, such as work, poor housing, material deprivation, low standards of living, and the accompanying stresses that are placed upon the body as a result. Many psychological and social issues, such as mental health, well-being and addiction, have become increasingly medicalized in society and are treated with scientific biological treatments that many have criticized for simply dealing with the symptoms rather than addressing the root cause. For example, in the UK, nearly 8 million adults are on prescription antidepressants, which social models of health might suggest is down to wider social factors, but instead, under the biomedical approach, are medicated rather than cured. A further issue with the use of the biomedical model is outlined by Marxist Ivan Illich. He suggested that the biomedical model has led to increases in the amount of iatrogenesis in society. This is where medical procedures have unwanted side effects that limit the patient's ability to lead a normal life. Illich suggests that side effects from medication and medical procedures can have negative impacts on individuals' lives, often leading to further medication in order to address the side effect. Furthermore, medical malpractice can cause permanent injury or death, and not only impacts the physical health of sufferers, but also their mental health as well. Adopting more holistic solutions would be preferable, according to some sociologists. One criticism of the biomedical model is that it fails to acknowledge the impacts of society on an individual's health, and this is addressed by those who support using social models of health. Furthermore, these theories suggest that many of the improvements that have been made in health outcomes are a result of social changes to society, particularly in the period following World War II, such as social housing, the creation of the NHS, and increased standards of living. The biomedical model is also criticised for treating the symptoms rather than looking for the cure. Pain management is a common strategy used to alleviate issues without examining the root causes of the problem. 
Finally, medical professionals appear to be focused on the lifestyle of individuals, shifting the blame for health and illness back to the patient rather than examining the social causes of poor health and challenging wider social inequalities. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on models of health, looking at the biomedical model of health. Thanks for watching.